Okay, before we start the reading, let's cleanse our sacred space. Okay, let's uh, light up on coming incense. We're going to need some um, protection. And some um, protective angelic forces. Shuffle the cards. Spirit. The spirit of energies from the previous reading. On the divine forces, divine loving father, blessed divine mother, blessed divine child of creation, I call to the angelic realms. For God's divine healing, divine protection, divine strength, and divine light of wisdom. These are the energies from the previous reading. These are the energies from the previous reading. Call upon my spirit guides, spirit animals, great great ancestors, known and unknown, Buddhas, Mitsakas. Ascended Masters, Devil Spirits, Gods, Goddesses. We seek the light, pure wisdom, and guidance. I call upon the elements of the universe, upon the energies of the ether. Fire, water, air, earth, and divine love of creation. These flames clear the energies from the previous reading. Okay. And the spirit. Okay. So now, let's begin the week. Hello Leo, welcome to Samurai Tarot. We'll be doing your April reading. Okay, so this is a fiery month. Okay. So, turn that a bit. That opening incense. Okay, and coming incense is very, very easy to light up. Oops. Make sure. Yeah. Let's make sure. All right. 
start your reading, you just needed to replace that so that uh, okay, we got uh, our energies here. Okay, we're gonna do your life, love, and career. Okay, spirit. Ooh, wow, Leo. First card up, seven of wands. Okay, victorious. Okay, some success. Okay. Success. All right. Let's get you some. Okay. Lovers. Queen of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Money. Commitment. Money. Love. Hmm. Who's this? Okay, we got a soulmate here. Ooh, five of swords. There was an argument. Ooh, seven of swords. Well, it came out in reverse. Okay. Seven of swords, what's up with that? Seven of swords and then two of wands. That's your love spread. Let's see. King of pentacles. So far, so good on money. Seven of Wands. Guarded. And then Judgment. Okay, bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, let's just put it, put it here. Ace of Pentacles. What have we got here, Leo? Mmm. Ooh, some sneaky behavior here. What's going on? Okay. You have the six of wands, so um, you're coming out. This is you, so this is your energy. So you're coming out very victorious. Pull that closer. Okay, coming out very victorious. All right. So, so when I'm hearing, I'm hearing like come back, a return, a return, and uh, the return is going to be victorious. Okay. All right. Your first set of cards, okay, which is the general, okay, the general energies, uh, life, life, your life reading. So you have a big decision to make, okay, a life-changing decision. This might involve a Gemini, uh, and here you are. You're coming through in your power. Okay. You're not messing around. You're you mean you're you're very serious with regards to your business. Now we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this tells me uh, you're going to make a a decision. Okay. You're gonna make a decision to stand in your power and go for that commitment and go for that legacy to build your own legacy. Okay. So, I'm getting here, okay, someone might want to get married or start a family, so, and uh, you will be successful. So, whoever, if you decide to do that, um, the person you're going to be connecting with uh, will be... Um, you know, you'll be admired by this person and this person will commit to you. Okay. All right. Now, with regards to... Um, okay. Hmm. Okay. Now, 
I'm kind of money's good as far as I can tell, Leo. Money's good. But your love life though. <laughs> what in the world? Okay. These are all your energies. So So there's something you could be dealing with an air sign and a fellow fire sign. So there was a fight and there was some cheating and dishonesty. Now what will happen is either you left or your person left and is looking for other to find another lover or another partner. Now, if there's an argument, you won the argument, but you lost the war. <laughs> you won the argument, but you lost the war. Why? Um, yeah, the other person just left. You know, they just left. That's it. And they're looking to... They're, they're looking towards looking for another person or another connection okay but i can tell you that the the person your person hasn't found anybody yet okay they haven't found anybody yet they're looking they're looking so vice versa you might be looking because your person left or you left your person vice versa so there's some leaving behind there was a fight leaving behind and now um, now you're exploring okay you're in the dating scene trying to find a new partner or trying to find love but there was some cheating involved big fight and some sneaky sneaky stuff I don't like the seven of swords energy especially when it's near right next to uh, five of swords um, what I'm getting in here is a very very strategic approach to love <laughs> what in the world you know Leo, you can't, you know, if, if you're talking about love, it's more of emotions. Um, if you're, because the sword is all about mind, that could be overthinking, uh, very uh, harsh words. Not very loving. So I'm not surprised if this connection failed because of the way e either your partner or you handled the situation. So it's like um, there's some sort of revenge energy that, that is, I'm just really feeling around this particular... From the past to the present, there's still some revenge kind of energy and now the revenge is looking for another person or exploring okay so be mindful of that um, for some of you you're trying to strategize on getting a partner to commit my goodness Leo what I know you're the lion but This has gone too far. <laughs> you see, the reason why the lover's card is here, okay, is making, you know, is asking you to make uh, life changes, okay, a life changing decision. You see, by the end of it, there's judgment. So, the ex might return by the end of the month. But I don't think it's going to be a good, you know, 
not gonna be a good uh, discussion. It's more of finding someone else. That's what I'm getting. For some of you, you're trying to get back somebody. You're trying to get back somebody and you're trying to strategize on how to get this person's attention because your person's attention is somewhere else. You tried to win in this love situation. Uh, there's... And I'm here to tell you, you won. You won. You won. You, your strategy worked. You won. However, where's your person? <laughs> where's your person? Okay. For some of you, I know some of the Leos try to like uh, play with their uh, person of interest. Okay. For some of you, you, you strategized and you got this person back and they will commit. That's why you're victorious. But there's a great majority of you that you're... You lost this person, and then you're strategizing to win them back, and then you win. You you win them back. Uh, from some from some of you, the energy that I'm getting is you're looking at this person. Okay, you're looking at the person like this. This person is the queen of wands. Like they're the they're they're very beautiful, very attractive to you and you want to marry this person really bad okay okay all right okay so those are the energies that i'm getting with the ace of pentacles here which is hidden what's coming your way is a new beginning a manifestation but be ready because the manifestation will take a lot of work and it could be burdensome. Okay. So. Okay. So. For the those who are fortunate. You won the relationship. Uh, you won the relationship. You know. Your strategy worked. And you got them to commit. But some of you. You won the argument and then lost the relationship. But you won. I don't know if that's any consolation. Okay? All right. Okay. So let's proceed to your career in finance. Okay. Wow. Um, you have the King of Pentacles, You're de you might be dealing with an Earth sign, Seven of Wands, and Judgment. Um, you might be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, some of you are returning to work, either by the end of the month or seven days. On, on the 7th of April or seven days from where you when you watch this reading you'll be returning to work um, uh, for some of you you're resisting maybe uh, after the pandemic um, you were at work at home and then you don't want to go back to the office. <laughs> but but the idea here is um, we have with the King of Pentacles. So this this means that you're you're stable, okay? Now if for, for those who are into business, uh a business partner is very defensive. Um, and
and you're calling them out for it. Okay. All right. Let's check for other messages. Okay. So from here, um, if you have a business strategy, it's going to work. But you're very secretive about it. Okay. Some of you, your You're going to use your talents. Your talents is going to, your talent, when you decide to use your talents, okay, that's going to make you a lot of money. Okay. Okay. So, some of you, may decide okay some of you may decide not to not to uh, delve into your love life so much and you just you're gonna focus on uh, just your money so there's a new uh, there's a new job that's manifesting or a new business venture manifesting in April and it's gonna make you a lot of money Okay, all right, uh, let's see. Let's get the moon deck. Spirit, what do we have? Show us what's hidden. Show us, show us what's hidden. Okay. All right, so we got two cards. Okay. Show us what's hidden. That one wants to come out, okay. All right. So your first card is you're very close to achieving your goal. Okay. So your hard work is going to pay off in April. Okay. Next, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Okay. Definitely, because uh, Mars energy. Hmm. Okay, so you might be dealing with an Aries. Okay. Alright. Bring love into the situation. What did I tell you? So you strategized on your love affair and then... Okay, new moon in Aquarius. So you might be dealing with an Aquarius. A lot of air. <laughs> okay. Okay. Some confidence issues I'm seeing here in... A time of giving rather than taking new moon in Virgo. Okay. So, again, some of you uh, trying to win in love. Okay. Without, you know, being loving is not good. It's not going to land you anything. All right. So in terms of uh, money, success, you're good. Love, not so much. You're still exploring. You're all. You're already in the dating scene, feeling that you've won something. Okay. Uh, also, be careful. I'm looking at this guy. Keep on peeping. Somebody might be spying on you, uh, and they're getting envious. Okay. So some of you. Um, with the seven of swords here, try not, uh, try not to envy others' success. With the seven of swords, five of swords, seven of swords, and the uh, two of wands. You know, if somebody, someone's business is expanding, do not be envious. Just putting it out there. Okay. Right, spirit. Oof, nice. So bring love into the situation. So what you need is love. That's why the lovers is here and the moon card of Aquarius is here. You need some healing. Okay. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Okay. So the universe is asking you to uh, 
meditate and contemplate. Look at look at what you've done in terms of your love life. If you want a good love life, be loving. <laughs> Not <laughs> one upmanship in in love is not gonna bear any good fruit okay all right what else spirit okay again love i am the loving energy of the universe leo i cannot overemphasize <laughs> okay so whether it's uh, your relationships with people and um, your co-workers, your, your person, or your, um, you know, in general, overall in your life. Um, I, I think spirit is giving you a big nudge to, uh, you know, be loving, you know, show some emotion. You're as cold as steel. <laughs> it's just... You know, you can have all of the money in the world, but if you're not happy, what's the use of all that money? Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. To do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. So, okay, what else? There is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. Okay. So, here's what the universe is trying to tell you, Leo. Um, so, what the universe is trying to tell you is you need to uh, get back into that loving energy. Okay? And um, make sure that uh, you meditate and look at Look at your past actions and, you know, sometimes winning is not everything, you know. Um, it, it's best to compromise and communicate well rather than be cutting or, or one-upmanship. Um, you know, if, if you love somebody or you like someone, you know, be nice to them, you know. Be nice, you know, and don't hurt them. Don't cheat on them. Don't uh, don't do anything like that. Now, if you're on the other other end and you're experiencing these things, um, well, with the six of wands there, you already know what to do to be able to overcome those things. Okay, but uh, again, um, there's some healing and contemplation that needs to happen. With Aquarius here, okay, you might you might have a confrontation. Uh, there's going to be a confrontation uh, with regards to your uh, partner, and you're gonna and one of you is going to be defensive, okay, and then whether it's love or business or personal, there's going to be a confrontation. Um, and their action is going to be necessary to uh, move things forward. But um, what the universe is asking you is to be loving and be, be compassionate and considerate. Also, let go of any jealous energies and jealous people. If you have jealous energies or jealous tendencies, let go of that. If you're dealing with a jealous person, let go of them, okay? So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope this helps. Stay true and authentic. Be truthful. No lies, no cheating, no deceit. Okay? And if there are people like that, stay away from that. So so that you can come out uh, to be victorious. All right? Okay. So I'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching Samurai Tarot.